So yeah, it does actually look like I'm only a few months short of finishing the game. That's kind of cool. And we'll get everything done. Dragon, that's way too high for me. Yay, alchemy level. that I did that um, increased or decreased how quickly my popularity fall helped a lot though.
Yay, alchemy level up. Wow! Experience jumped quite a bit at that point.
beast in a pot. Interesting. Oh, so close. Let's go to the tavern. Meiru! Hi, RPG fan. Already back out. Yes. So, um, the primary focus of Meruru, um, uh, Atelier games in general, is the fact that they all have this sort of alchemy system, and so you need to create items to further the game's story. So, um, there is obviously combat and stuff like that, and you need to go out and collect a lot of these ingredients. But for example, what I'm doing is I'm Princess Meruru, and this is my kingdom, and I'm attempting to get the biggest population possible before um, the start of the sixth year. And for some reason, the year starts on April 1st. I've never really thought about why. And so one of the things that I'm doing right now is actually um, these are all my ongoing development tasks. And so for me to better myself, I actually have to synthesize a hundred different items. And so that's what I've kind of been working on right now. And I also made myself a healing bell, which I have to use five or more times. And I've also done that. And then once I'm done alchemizing a hundred things, I'm actually going to go out and I've made these suction bags that they need in the Yuval region and I'll go turn it in and then the map will further develop and I will be able to go on to the next zone and do a do sort of a quest there. And sometimes quests are clear out all the monsters in this zone. Sometimes the quests are um, specifically go and get X item or specifically go and defeat, defeat X monster. Sometimes they're bring alchemy items. Um, sometimes they're really vague. Um, defeat the demon within the endless corridor. <laughs> Confront the dragon. Sometimes it's stuff like this. Advanced development around the plains. It's like... Mm. And it turns out that it's actually just turning these two in. You just get some bonus points for doing both. So every item that I pick up has a quality level and an item level and then traits associated with it. So all Undying Winds bags have the Spirit of the Wind in them. So no matter which one I use, I'm going to get that. But each of these things have their own grade. So that one's an E grade, and this one's a C grade, and there's a B grade. And it's going to affect the grade of my overall product as well. So these are not particularly sorted in any particular way other than when I pick them up until I actually choose to sort them. And this is, uh, I, I can only have a pyroxene in this particular recipe, so I'm just going to sort them by quality and see which ones I don't mind getting rid of. So now this summons a spirit, and I got lots of experience, but it cost me MP to do that particular synthesis. And as I go along in time and in synthesis levels, I'm gonna go outside and play. I'm gonna have reactions from both Rorona and Totori. So this is the third game out of the series, um, playing Meruru. 
The second game was Atelier Totori, and the first game was actually Atelier Rorona, who is in front of me, who um, unfortunately has been de-aged to the age of um, eight. <laughs> Just don't wander off. But yeah, these are the three girls that make up the uh, the Our Land trilogy. I wonder why Miss Astrid hasn't stopped by since last time. She seemed like she had some business to take care of. I hope it's nothing too crazy. Miss Totori always said that Miss Astrid could be pretty unpredictable. Maruru, I never said that. I just said she was a little... different. Isn't that just a nice way of saying the same thing? I mean, she's the reason Rorona is the way she is now, right? Well, I suppose. But Miss Astrid is a true genius, which helps explain why she's so eccentric. Hmm. How bold of you to sit and gossip about your master's master's master. Disgraceful, really. <laughs> so, on the left is Maruru. She's the princess of this kingdom. On the far right is Totori, her teacher. Totori's teacher was Verona, who ran outside as the eight-year-old. And Astrid is the one who taught alchemy to Verona. So she is Maruru's master's master's master. And she takes advantage of it. Which is kind of mean. Pleasant to my face, but quite nasty behind my back. My great grand pupil needs to clean up her act. Ah! Miss Astrid! How long have you been there? I wasn't trying to gossip about you. I'm sorry if you felt that way. Such a forced apology. Anyway, since Rorona's not here right now, I'll keep my visit brief. Of course, ma'am. I'll do whatever I can to help. That's more like it. Okay, then. Come stop by my workshop. I'll explain there. Okay. I'll get ready and come by immediately. So another staple of the series is things like this, where events are actually triggered based on the things that you do and the friendship levels that you have with each person. So Astrid really wasn't interested in me initially because I was just a an alchemist that was bumbling my way through. And then this particular set of events triggers when I hit alchemy level 45. Immediately, huh? I'm going to hold you to that. I'll be waiting. Not too long, I hope. Phew. This is worse than I would have imagined. What do I do, Miss Totori? Relax, Maruru. It's not like she's going to take a bite out of you. Probably. I mean, oh, she would never. That isn't helping me relax. Ugh, okay. I'd better get over there right away. You're late. I've been waiting. I called you here for a specific reason. I wanted to hear your opinion on the future of alchemy. In the future, do you want alchemy to grow or decline? What? I want it to grow, of course. Hmm, that's what I thought. Then you won't mind if I use you as my guinea pig. So Astrid is actually probably about a hundred years old at this point but she has de-aged herself with a youth potion to make herself in the 30-40 range. And she has hinted a couple times that um, if I got my alchemy up high enough, she would teach me how to make the youth potion. And so I think this is what the event is leading to. What? What do you mean by guinea pig? What for? To create a potion to return Verona back to normal. As you know, I drank the same potion as Verona. However, thanks to the potion's side effects, I've forgotten the main ingredient to return her to normal. Retracing my steps and looking through my notes, I was able to recreate the potion of youth recipe. It 
mental synthesis is correct, the rest is easy. I simply have to create a potion with the exact opposite effect. So, with that in mind, I need you to drink this potion of youth that I just synthesized. I don't want to drink that. Why don't you test it yourself, Miss Astrid? Don't be silly. What happens if it works and I get even younger? Obviously, I'll forget everything about the potion. And didn't you tell me you'd do whatever you could to help? Don't tell me that was a lie. Well, I didn't mean something like this. What if your potion works out too well and I turn out just like Verona? Hmm, let's see. With your current age, you'd probably turn back into a babbling little baby. I am not interested in that. I'm so close to becoming a real adult. I don't want to start all over. So those noble words of devoting yourself to alchemy were just window dressing? You're all talk, princess. Astrid is kind of a witch, by the way. I didn't think you'd take it this far. <laughs> I just love seeing how far I can push people. You're going to drink this whether you like it or not. So just hold still and accept your fate. No! Ah! The bottle! You broke it! Oh, I had to use so many rare ingredients. There's no way I can make it again. Was it really that valuable? Square one. Arlen's alchemy is bound to decline now. So much for growing alchemy. Oh, no. I'm so Hi, Malcontent. Sorry. I had no idea how important that potion was. What good are words now? If you want to apologize, put that apology into action. Action? What? What can I do? Potion of youth that you just destroyed? Go synthesize it yourself. What? There's no way I can make something that complicated. So you refuse to take responsibility for your actions? I won't allow you to shirk this duty. <sighs> Fine. Listen, I know you can't begin synthesizing without at least a little head start. To get a sense of your ability, first I want you to modify the elixir recipe to create a stronger medicine. Modify... elixir? I know the recipe for elixir, but is it really possible to change an existing recipe? If you can at least do that, you have no hope of creating the potion of youth. Don't say you can't. You have to. So this is a new twist to the alchemy system I haven't seen before. Okay. Modifying existing it. recipes? Mmm. I'll be here, waiting for the good news. <sighs> Whatever happened just now, I have a feeling it went exactly according to Miss Astrid's plan. I do now? I've never modified a recipe before. I don't even know where to start. Alrighty, I finally made a hundred items. Woohoo! Uh, and I got him a memo about changing a recipe. New and improved elixir. I need to get to thousand. So a lot of the NPCs that I'm going to interact with for the next few minutes have actually been in um, either Totori or Verona or both and are now in Meruru. So Hagel's been the blacksmith for the entire Our Land trilogy. I think I've gotten all the 
10 right now. Whoop. There's a new one. Magnetite suit. Interesting. Resist S. That is good. Oh, right. I wanted to see if you have any more books. No, no more books? Okay. Alrighty. I am out of. Things that I have, I register things with her that I make, and then I can buy them in large quantities. So, for example, supplements are things that I use in a ton of recipes. So, um, I have her stock those. I actually think I should have her stock a couple more slots of those. I tend to use a lot of them. Pretty rapid fire. So once she restocks, she'll actually have 20 of those instead of just 10. So I try to cre keep a fairly large supply of just about everything on me, especially things like noose, which are, um, which habitually are things that I've asked for quest-wise. And then the tavern, I can go and see what tasks are available. Uh, I think we... okay. So some of these are just items that I need to turn in. Just easy deliveries. And I get a monetary reward based on the quality of items that I turn in. If I turn in generic C quality items, I get the result that um, was you know, originally set out. If I put in some stuff that's a little nicer, I get a nicer reward. And you can actually see on the bottom right side, there's a popularity bar. And my popularity is based on uh, many things, but um, in large part, how often I do quests. So it behooves me to do a lot of quests. These are things I cannot do right now. That's okay, my popularity is full. To the world map, I have bombs to turn in. Bye bye, Ant. Ant is a living force that moves around. So this is a normal gathering spot. It's blue. And then this one is a rare gathering spot. It's yellow. And I get really high quality wisp zones out of that one. It's hard to get high quality wisp zones. Normally they only come in D or E. What are my quests like right now? Tropical penguins, fire pixies. Uh, I think that's gonna be in here. So because I'm high level, I actually have this ability to just swing and kill whatever I'm hitting. Um, normally you'd have to go in and fight some enemies. 
out since none of these are quest mobs. I'm pretty powerful. I just mostly want the ingredients from them since I have a quest to gather ingredients. Hello, good sir. I have bombs for you. hard to get us quality bombs. So in the top left corner you'll see that um, I have a calendar and I have my quests which are the flags and then you have those disappearing red boxes. So every day that I'm outside of town is divided into 10 sections. Um, gathering takes up four of those sections. Killing monsters takes up one section per time that Mimaru acts in battle, or just one if I swing. And, uh, so I want to leave with basically one or two of those boxes filled in. We did not buy um, Final Fantasy X HD yet. We plan to. Um, I'm probably actually going to finish Mimaru and then do that. go to Yuval. So I have stuff to turn in here. But yeah, chances are very good that um, Final Fantasy X is the thing that I'm going to stream next. So based on how developed an area is, is how the quality of the items that you're going to gather. So you can see that these are only D level items. They're not as good. They're kind of meh. Um, e is the lowest and S is the highest. So E, D, C, A, B, A, S. So we'll deliver your suction bag. So once I leave here, it will change. Usually it takes about two weeks for the change to take effect. And I got him a memo about it, which will tell me exactly how long it will take. Well, let's go ask Hannah what she thinks. So I need to go talk to an NPC back in town. into the base of the volcano yet. Ah, great! New memo. So now I have two things to do back at home. The development plan for the cave. And then I need to talk to Hannah. Right. Thank you, Hannah. So as your friendship goes up with Hannah, which is uh, done by doing quests for her, um, she will give you materials. And they're nice materials. You can also see that I have a um, gentleman in a, a black coat and a top hat working behind me. That is my homunculus hum and so she's actually been gathering for me but I would really like her to make stuff for me and I want it as high quality as possible you've made enough of those wing quilts for now some poly wool. 
so this is the highest quality they can make. Um, usually it'll come out as an A trait level. Um, fewer traits, but they will be nicer traits, so um, instead of attack plus 5, it'll be attack plus 7 or even 10. Trait count is as many traits as possible. So we'll get stuff that's like MP plus 10, LP plus 10, HP plus 10, speed plus 3, uh, lightweight, qual lightweight quality. Or a surprise, and it'll be a mix of any of the top three, quality or trait level or trait count. But uh, for equipment, I like trait count. It seems to work the best for me. So let's go talk to Hannah. And the nice thing about this game um, compared to um, Totori and Rorona is um, it has that fast travel system where you hit start and just choose the zone you want to go to. But the game actually makes you f pass through all of the zones. So if there had been an event waiting for me um, on the outskirts of Arles, which I have to pass through to get to where I am now, it would have actually stopped me in the outskirts and taken that event, and then I would have just been in the outskirts. That's really cool. I don't think I've had wheat grain before. So, now that I've... I've got him a memo. Development. Build some housing in Yuval. She has a few new things. Ooh, my popularity fell because I was outside for a while. Let's see what quests there are. So now that Yuval's been developed, I have mail to continue developing it. Still lacking food and supplies. So I'm gonna go to Rufus. I'll turn the letter into actual requests that I can do. Oh, so I stumbled on a cave near the base of Mount Bellis. Near Mount Velis? I'd really rather you stay away from that area. Why? I mean, I know it's a volcano and all, but I don't think it's going to erupt anytime soon. True, it has been calm, but it's been known to erupt from time to time, and it has caused enormous damage in the past. Maybe, but places like that always have rare ores, so I'm really interested. I'm sure there are useful materials there. However, I've been told that the volcano has been more active recently. But I really want those materials! Please! So Rufus is my butler. There is even a hint of eruption. Vacate he the helps the king run the kingdom, and he helps organize all of my missions together, all my development okay. projects. I will. All right, then. And his younger brother is actually one of my personal guards. So I don't have... So that opened up a new zone. I don't have um, 
Lias in my party right now. Um, Stark and Esty are both characters that were previously in um, Atelier games in the Rs trilogy. And so they started at a pretty high level, so I just kind of grabbed him once they became available. I like Stark, he's a cutie. Everyone thinks his face is scary. Okay, so one to two magic stones that need to be an S grade. New land rations with HP recovery XL, and for doing those, I get gatherable item increase with a quality increase. So the other thing that I can do is, as I just do stuff in the world, I get development points. I don't think I can buy anything right now because I only have 80, and I need 50 for anything right now. New scene. So when the game teaches me how to do something new, um, it adds it to the help files. In particular, I'll get him a memo. Um, need to make an elixir. Unicorn horn. Dragon elixir and secret remedy. stones this isn't done enough better glory magic stones. And I have two of them. Back to Yuval. So that's done. I need three to six with HP Recovery XL. Excel. I have four of them. Oh, achievable. Haha, <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay. Um, how many bombs do I have? None. Okay. 
Um, let's go back to Yuval. When I synth, I tend to over synth. So sometimes I end up having items left over and being able to use them in another quest. And that's cool. Because sometimes stuff like this happens. As you can see, the way that this zone looks has now changed completely. And now I'm getting C and B quality items instead of D and E like I was getting when I first came here. Oh, there's wheat grain. More gather points? Yep, yeah, there. See if there's one more. There is one more. Yum, yum, yum. Wheat grains are nice. Alrighty. So that worked out quite well. So now I can venture into the volcano. Yikes! Hot stuff! Okay, here we go! Hey, if it's gonna be alchemy stuff, I can handle just about everything. Except for big scary dragons. I would prefer not to fight those. Ooh, very nice. Some very high quality materials. Sea puddles are very rare. It is liquid hot magma. Ooh, S quality stones. Middle. To the middle. Interesting. So this zone actually has multiple sections, it looks like. Makes me a little paranoid that I haven't seen any enemies, though. There's a gather spot. More sea puddles. Excellent. Yay! Material master. Ooh, I see an enemy. Um, that appears to be a dragon. This appears to be a dragon. Princess, here's our chance. So I'm going to drop a meteor on their heads. So each of my people have a different way of attacking. So ST does a small area attack and it frequently delays um, enemies. Oh, I'm actually going to guard with her. He has a more single target but very powerful attack. Um, the nice thing is that I have created a weapon for SD that curses. And so when you curse something, it does a lot more damage. I'm okay. ah! Scratch. So the only downside of SD is she is a little more wimpy. Um, compared to Stern, who is the guy in the big white coat. Scratch. Away. That blew up two of them. Pop. Yes. 
That's as much as I really want to explore in here right now because I don't think I want to take on that dragon. But now that I know it's there, it might turn into a mission. I still haven't used those healing bells. I have... Oh, I should go beat up the wyvern. <laughs> then I'll have reasons to use the healing bell. Up, up, and away. I like it. It's now gonna have to make one, I bet. You can now create mirror elixir. Yes, send everything to the bank. Hi, Holmes. How's it going? Three, you've done seven. Make the mirror elixir. First thing to set up for Of healing items, but attack items. Alrighty. Let's make a marrow elixir. Oh, actually, let's go to the tavern. My popularity has fallen. So yeah, that's the that's the challenge of this game is trying to balance between exploration and synthesis and tasks. I can't do any of these. 
Oh, but I have a quest to kill those lizards now. Okay, now to the workshop. I need to make a mirror elixir and get a cutscene. Oh, I must have passed 100,000 population. From Rufus? I wonder what it could be about. Here you go. Yep. You mentioned something about the population. Let's see. Hello, princess. I hope you are... Yeah, yeah. Light greeting, whatever. Let's skip ahead. As of the other day, the total population of Arles has significantly exceeded the expected number. What? What? <gasps> What's going on there, Ruru? Why are you screaming so hard? So this game has like a dozen endings and all of them hinge on the fact that you need to get, well, all of them except for the bad ending, hinge on the fact that you need to get at least 100,000 population. I need to go tell Miss Philly! You too, Kana! Come on! And then after that, what ending you get depends on all the things you've done during the game. Um, there's a friendship ending for all the characters that you can accrue friendship with. Billy! Hey, check it out! You know how we were talking about the population? Well, I did it! Big time! Whoa, really? That's great, Mabruru! Arles has become a bustling metropolis! So what Mr. Rufus mentioned, this population trend survey, it's a document describing research on the kingdom's population. Meruru and I were discussing it just the other day. I see. The population has definitely gone up since Meruru began. Seeing it in numbers really drives the point home. Right? Compared to how things were when I started, this is like exceptionally exceptional, huh? So for those that weren't here for the start of the game, basically Meruru wanted to learn alchemy, but she's the princess of the kingdom. The king said, no, absolutely not. And she said, well, I'll make, I'll turn the kingdom into like a big deal with alchemy. And that was the way that she decided, that she convinced her dad that she should be an alchemist. We were such a tiny country back then. And to think we've reached this size so fast. And in fact, um, at the start of the game, we are five years away from merging Arles, which is this particular kingdom, into our land, which is the larger kingdom that the entire trilogy is played out in. It's all thanks to your efforts, Meruru. Congratulations! It wasn't just me, though. Everyone helped this happen. Thank you so much! <laughs> oh, wait right here. Here you go. It's not much, just iced tea. But let's toast to our success. Woo! I'm gonna aim even higher for my next goal. And eventually, we'll pass Arlen and become the biggest ever. That's the spirit. Now then, to Meruru and the future of Arles. Cheers! So, as long as you get this done before the end of the game, um, you get a proper ending. Right, I need to make a mirror elixir. Just one. Oh man, this takes up a ton of my healing items.
Wow, that's a nice healing item. I'm kind of sad that I have to give it away. Wow, I can literally only make one. So I want to actually wrap up. I have a lot of quests. I'm going to do some research. I bet you I know where that is. Yep, Monus Ruins. That's good, because I'm going there. And a Guardian, that's also in the ruins. seen them somewhere else though. Giant bug. That's in a bunch of places. Heart outpost, but I think they might be gone from there. I think I killed the infestation. Also modus. Yep, modus. Friends. Blazing penguin. Side of Ent. It's the only place that I've seen those. Realm Lizard is inside of Mount Velas. Okay. 
So... First, let's save. Because I have accomplished a lot in the last little bit. Handy while I stream. It's in my basket. Yeah, I think that's enough. Oh goodness, I hope that's enough. Ooh, 150 development points. To the study! Gotta build something! Adventures in. Why must you be such a butt? So first, let's check that the memo. Complete. Well, I got a Yuval letter, so let's see what else that Yuval needs. Oh, I also need to stop by Pam's and pick up some more supplements. Hello, Pamela. Alright, let's go turn this Yuval letter into a Yuval plan. Mushroom beds, tonics, and jarred mushrooms. Royal aroma. I feel like I've seen that on something before. Okay. Well, let's go to the workshop. Mushroom bed, one to two, air grater. Oh, I need yeast. Wow, I'm out of water? Seriously?
The only boring part of the game is this. So what says everybody else been playing lately? That discussion, I feel like. to two, that's A greater better. those jarred mushrooms. I don't know what this is at all. because I haven't finished Modus Ruins. Alrighty. So this is going to be a pretty deep dive. Hey, hey! You better pay attention now. Yeah! Away! Ow. No, actually, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Down goes that. Okay, so that's one quest done. Within the eternal hallway lies the path to reverse the truth of time. Yeah, I don't know either. Ah, okay. Hi, Chim. Chim, 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 Chim. Since I'm here, might as well buy. And carry on. Okay, 
so that was the riotous. So I can take that off the list. Oh, well. I am apparently much more powerful than I think I am. quality ingredients. Hey, hey, you better pay attention now. Yeah. A scratch. I can see why the game considers these weak enemies for me. Okay. Those are very nice. Away! Scratch! Scratch! Okay, so yeah, I'm just better off beating those things by whacking them with my staff. Let's see, the guardians that I need are down. Excellent. On my way down. Gather, gather. Hey, look, it's a guardian. Let's get this over with. I pop you in the face. Here it comes. A scratch. Down it goes. Ooh, I love the curse on her weapon. Which just makes everything take so much more damage. Ding. I still have a long way to go. Hey, hey, you better pay attention now. Ah! Is there any way to hit all three of them? No. The best I can do is get two. Away! One of them. Yeah. A scratch. I should just keep on with that one, especially when that happens. Yeah. Oh man, I love her quick ability. She just gets so much, so many attacks so quick. Yay, lizard tails! Lizard tails are good. If I can shortcut down to the next level somewhere around here. I swear there is. Yep, there we go. So there's gonna be ghosts in here, scare phantoms. Ah, like right there. Right above as well. Hello, Ghosty Kenzie. I see you. Gotcha. Let's get this over with. Ah! I come. These guys are mostly scary because they do magic damage, and it's a lot easier. It's a lot harder to mitigate magic damage than it is to mitigate physical damage. So that's the scare phantoms done. Right. So that's three of my quests done. That makes me happy. Out for any 
ghosts that are gonna jump. To the central ruins. Alright, making progress. So this is where I stopped before. Because I was really worried about my level and how many healing items I had. I really didn't think I was ready for the wyvern. So now I'm going deeper for the first time. I'm still kind of scared that I'm not actually prepared for the wyvern. But hey, maybe it will be a Christmas miracle. Oh darn, Christmas has passed. I'm here! Don't worry, Princess. I'll protect you. Hello, Mr. Wyvern. Nur -nur. He calls friends and then goes away. Okay. Just 
heal? Oh, bugger. Dead. Let's head. Staying well healed, if nothing else. Bell is still going. Whack. With this, my ho 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 ho. I love specials. I, come. I think it just said critical before that hit as well. Draw you all! Such is the breath of my justice! That did 3,000 damage! Holy crap! Okay, so he's gonna call his friends. This is going really well. Everything in this single strike falls in wind. Okay, so they're all down. He comes back, he heals, but she has a special. Time to get serious. You think you can keep up? See if you can spot me. I can't even keep track of how much damage this is doing. Let's say a lot. Smash. Did that kill it? Did that kill it? Did that kill it? Yes! Thing. I'm still young, right? <sighs> My heart is seriously pounding so hard right now. <sighs> okay, that was awesome. Oh, rival lands. Rainbow. Oh, oh, wow. That looks amazing. <sighs> I'm just glad I was able to help. Princess Meruru, are you okay? Ah, oh, yes, of course. Don't worry about me. But, Mr. Sturt, you're really strong. It's just my training as a knight. I suppose I should ask you to consider me your knight from now on. Uh, okay. I guess I'll be counting on you. But still... It's really scary to think how that dragon could have come to town. I hope we can move on with developing again. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> okay. Get out of here.
You better pay attention now. Ah! A scratch. Here it comes. Away. way to go. I'm getting f pretty full, so I think I won't gather on every spot. up some more guardians. Let's get this Oop. over with. Yeah. Here it comes. I'm okay. Away. Down you go. A scratch. is awesome. Away! Oops. More enemy. Here it comes! Will you please leave her alone? Leave Esty alone! You see? This is the way of the night! Dead beast, my favorite. Hey, now I can get to end. Twilight Four. Farthest Garden. This corridor. Oh! It's a witch thing. They have stupid attacks. Not actually as tough as they look. Okay. 
come! Leave it to me! I'll take your place! I should have had that Z card. That's a hard. Here it comes! I come! Here it comes! Medicine thread. That's very good. I need to get medicine thread. It's used in one of my nicer cloths. So it looks like that's that zone. Back out. Yeah, I was actually looking. the penguins that I need. Too much stuff. Hey. Princess, here's our I need to beat you up. Ah! You weren't injured, were you, princess? Penguins do I need for that? Come here, you. Let's get this over with! Ah! Two Where's Pod? I don't have any lotuses, so I'd rather give up something I do have a fair amount of. Optimal use of my time, but that's okay. So that is. Yay! That's very sexy. Marsh Tree Road, Crescent Lake, Eastern Passage, Dry Wasteland, Conifer Forest, Wyoming. Forest. The stuff to deliver to you, Will? Yes, yes, and. Let's go for it.
Hey, the two things that I need. Leave it to me. I'm okay. She has a really low LP. How could you? I'll take your place. I kill her. Pointless. Yes, he does pose as he kicks my butt. I come. Goodbye. Down she goes. And I still get experience even if my character dies, so. Okay. Did that finish both of them? I did finish both of them. Sweet. That was a giant bug, blazing penguin. Deliver to you. And go back home. Those two done. Now let's finally go back to our land. <laughs> or Arles. We've only been gone, you know, two and a half months. I'm probably gonna have a lot of story that's unlockable. Some of Kano's good luck must have rubbed off on her. Yes, demon. <laughs> you know she's gonna be there. <laughs> Look at the big tears in her eyes. Oh yeah, let's read the bulletin. Oh, my popularity went down. Everything into the basket. The tavern. Let's pump that popularity up. Ooh, and a scene with Hannah. Gang of lizards, lizards. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Those must be more of those guardians. 